This is a tutorial on how to search library databases using quotation marks, parentheses, and wildcards from Bellevue College Library. These techniques will help you save time and become a power searcher. This video is part two in our series on power searching, so if you haven't watched the first video on Boolean operators, go ahead and do that now. In this video, we will learn how to use quotation marks to search full phrases rather than individual words, how to use parentheses to combine search terms using logical order, and how to use wildcard symbols to substitute a symbol for one or more letters in a word. Let's begin with phrase searching. In phrase searching, you use quotation marks around adjacent search terms in order to search those words as a phrase rather than the individual words. In this example, I'll search for the words Black Lives Matter. I get a lot of results, but that's because those words don't have to necessarily appear in the order in which I typed them in the search results. Now I'm going to try this search again, putting quotation marks around the words Black Lives Matter to create a phrase. Now I get fewer results because my results must contain those words in that order. Next, we can use parentheses in order to tell the database which keywords to search first. Remember the order of operations or PEMDAS in algebra? It's kind of like that. In this example, I search for the phrase Black Lives Matter and books or literature, but I get an unmanageable number of results. This is because the database has included everything that contains the word literature because it can't determine the search order. So if I put parentheses around books or literature, my search will be much more manageable. Truncation broadens your search to include various word endings, whereas wildcards substitute a symbol for one letter of a word. There are lots of examples of this, but I'll just show you one. Now, I'm going to do the same search as before, but say I'm interested in children's books that talk about the Black Lives Matter movement. I could search the term children's, but instead I'm going to use the root word child with this asterisk at the end. This will capture all of the variant word endings such as child, children, children's, etc. and it will give me a few additional results. If you have additional questions, go to bellevuecollege.edu slash lmc for more help. 